Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ellen with a Y goes live from LA. Ellen with a Y goes west. I am currently in Los Angeles, California, in soaking up the sun, living the dream, California, Hollywood, Beverly Hills. Oh, that would have been a good song too. Beverly Hills. <laughs> Hello everyone, everyone watching that it's currently 10 p.m. where you are, hi. It's currently seven o'clock where I am and I am loving this early Woo! time. Just another reason to move west. I feel like it's gonna be a counter. I should put a counter up in this episode every time I'm like, I'm gonna move to California. <laughs> like how many times am I saying it in an episode? <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm so excited to have this episode be live out of my friend Alex Marino's apartment. She Woo! is my guest. Yeah. She's gonna be joining me later on in the show. Uh, but let's dive right in because this is a special California themed episode because we are in LA. So first off, hot topics. The hot topic this week is obviously LA themed. We went to the Beverly Hills Hotel yesterday and we had our very own celebrity sighting. It was very exciting. Okay, boom. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? There he is. Jonah Hill sighting everyone with Zoe Deutsch um, at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Um, have you seen Noah Centineo yet? No, um, I'm such a creep. He's in Malibu Healing. I'll tell you about that during my Noah Centineo news segment. So we saw Jonah Hill at the Beverly Hills Hotel. He was saying hello to Zoe Deutsch, who knows his best friend, James Franco, because they did a movie together. And in the hotel, which I don't think I have a really good video of it, but we all really, really believe that we saw, and I don't think, I can't show video, can I? Oh, here it is, here's the video. That is who we believe to be James Franco. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I had video of it. So, um, so when we were at the Beverly Hills Hotel, we saw, we saw Jonah Hill, and we, I think that I also saw um, James Franco, and they were probably hanging out reading a book that they want to turn into a script or something. So, hot topic. That's super exciting. And I was here, boots on the ground. It's so funny doing this and being in LA. I'm like, oh my God, celebrity. I live in New York City and I like don't care about the celebrities that live there. I don't look for them. I don't hunt them out. But like here, I was so excited. Uh, so, that is my hot topic, which moves me into my what to watch segment which of course is gonna be California LA theme. So instead of doing a show, you're glowing. Oh, thanks, Kiani. Um, and I love the weekender fit. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm wearing, I'm wearing another one of the Refinery29X Eloquy collab. Thank you, Laura Delrado, who's currently behind the camera. Woohoo! Um, so my what to watch this week, oh, and my eyebrows look, oh, Eva. <laughs> So the what to watch this week, I'm gonna give you a little twofold because it's not a show, it's two movies that if you haven't seen them, they, you have to see them right away. First, True Beverly Hills, a, an absolute classic, totally based out of California. If you haven't seen it, it's with Shelley Long and she is in a failing marriage and so she decides to boost her self-confidence by becoming the troop leader of her daughter's Girl Scout troop super cute super fun and very la and they actually shoot at the beverly hills hotel which is where i was yesterday oh my God. so much fun second show to watch which is like my one of my favorite movies of all time clueless alicia silverstone paul rudd classic classic totally shot all over la and i told and i was quoting alicia from clueless um when i was driving on the highway and we were getting on the freeway i was like screaming i was like we're getting on the freeway um so two really great movies you should absolutely watch which moves me into uh my food for thought segment and my food for thought segment is a sim simply i think i'm gonna move to la <laughs> i am having so much fun 
I am the most enthusiastic tourist you could ever imagine. I think my friends can attest to this. I am like screeching. If you could tell, my voice is a little raspy. I'm so excited. Every single place we go, I saw the Hollywood sign. I went to, so the trip started. I know. No, don't cry. Um, I, we started our trip in Palm Springs, which was super quiche, and I had so much fun. And we went on this aerial tram in um, Palm Springs, and we got to go to like super high elevation, and that was awesome. And we got to go night swimming, and I loved it. And I'm like, oh my God, if I could just drive two and a half, three hours to Palm Springs and be in the desert in the heat, it's amazing. Um, I actually like driving here too. I think a lot of people don't like driving here. I was loving it because it gives you more time to listen to music. Then we came back to LA and we in Crenshaw, baby. And that's where we're staying and it's cool and we love it and we love our place. And we've been driving around and seeing all the sites. I saw the stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, saw the Hollywood sign, Griffith Observatory. We went shopping, we went thrifting. We, oh, today we went to Venice and that was super cool. Oh, and I got to ride a scooter. <sighs> Quiche, love the scooters. <laughs> I had an electric scooter when I was younger and it sadly didn't last very long because I was made to be a good person and share it with the girl who lived down the block from me and she broke it. So sharing is not caring. Just kidding, I, you guys know I believe that. <laughs> Sun kiss, yeah, just a little bit of a glow. We went to the beach today, put my feet in the Pacific Ocean, saw some dolphins. You know, California really showed up and showed out for me. Loving it, tonight is my last night, tear. Um, but I had such a blast and I love California and my review is why approved. Is that a thing I do? I guess it is. I love California and I'm going to be back a hundred million times over for all my friends. I didn't get to see in California that I haven't seen. I'll see you next time, which means that we are moving into the guest portion of the show. So I will invite Alex Marino to come join me on Woo! camera. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're so close. Yeah, this is so we like do a little vertical, little vertical vid <laughs> for the gram. Look at all these people. Why stamp of approval? Yeah, I think that's gonna be a thing. I guess I do. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Alex Marino. Hi, to Amanda. The show. That's my best friend. Amanda. Hi. <laughs> Hello from Huntington. <laughs> uh, from college. Oh, from college. Hello. Yeah. Hi. All right, everyone. This is Alex Marino. You can follow her on Instagram at. Alex underscore Marino, and Correct. I'll put the graphic up. Um, so Alex, would you like to, I'm just going to pull you into okay, frames here. Okay, Hi, there we go. Would you like to tell everyone how we know each other? So yes, uh, we worked at Refinery together, Refinery29, but we had kind of a late start to our friendship. Yeah. Uh, I guess just from like mutual friends at the company we kind of brought together, we both realized that we were kind of loud and both from the <laughs> East Coast. <laughs> Had really loud laughs. Yeah. And, uh, I think the first time we actually had a really like big connection was when you told me that you were going to the sticks of Long Island, <laughs> which <laughs> happened to be my hometown, no. which is not the sticks. No, it's not. I No. Okay. Let's clarify what happened. I was trying to do directions and it wasn't, there was no LIR to there. And I was like freaking out. I was like, how do I get there? And then, then you told me how to get there. Yeah, then I told her how to get there. I was like, guys, I'm going somewhere in Long <laughs> Island. Like, I thought it was like so far, I was like past Montauk, which apparently there isn't past Montauk. No, that's why it's called the end. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I don't know how to get there. There's no trains. There's no trains. Oh my God. These are my friends. That's my yeah. that I went to Huntington with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know where I'm going. And then you helped me. And we became friends after that. Yeah, and we went to the mail room. Love. We had so much fun. That's right. The mail room. So Alex, you worked at Refinery, but and what did you do at Refinery? Uh, I was a senior designer there on our branded content team. So just worked with a bunch of clients with Refinery, and then and then you yeah. left us and to go I to left. LA. Yeah. So what do you do now? Uh, I work for an agency out here. I do mostly photo now, which is interesting because I don't really have a, you know, a, too much of a background in that. But now I've really started learning, and it's yeah. been really great and I was lucky to be able to move here with a job lined up. So you'll get me a job and I'll come yeah. <laughs> Someone will move me out here. They'll pick up my show and we could just, I could be in LA now. Exactly. I love yes. it. We're both East Coast girls. We yes. both basically spend our lives on the East Coast to some degree. Yes. When you were on the East Coast, who's that? That's my other best friend. Aww. Hi, Noel. <laughs> Yay. All your friends are joining. So when you were on the East Coast, 
you had a dog. Yes. Two dogs. Two dogs. I just learned you had two dogs. Yes. So can you tell us and take us through, first of all, Cooper? Yes, Cooper. You share Cooper? Yeah. How do you share Cooper? Uh, so Amanda, who's here watching, um, we are best friends from college and we were roommates and we always talked about getting a dog and doing kind of like a joint custody thing. So we adopted Cooper <laughs> about oh. like, I don't know, I guess five years ago and it was great. And then when she lived with her boyfriend and I lived with my boyfriend, Cole, we did joint custody because we lived close, but now yeah. it's hard that we live far away from each other. Aww. But I see him when I go home and my parents love him too and they still get to see him basically oh. amanda is my adopted sister there you go yes oh, I love that. yes and so then wait so now you also have alex has a really cute dog the dog your dog's name is mama yes how did you come to get mama and how is mama named mama uh my boyfriend's brother found mama on the street she was abandoned and she's so small and helpless and so cute <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's, you're my first furry guest. She's definitely confused, but look, Mama, look at the camera, smile. This is oh, Hollywood. Thank you. This is Hollywood, Mama. Kiss on command. She <laughs> was just a little street dog that was abandoned, Aww. and now she's ours because she was never t uh, Cole's brother couldn't keep her, and Cole fell in love with her, and now she's my daughter. Oh, and how did you come to name her Mama? Apparently, her name used to be Mommy, and it was spelled M O. M M I E, which is just kind of weird. Yeah, that's an interesting spelling for me. <laughs> but she responds to it, so well, well, we everyone likes the dog. It. Bring the dog back in. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Mama, look over here. Look Mama over here. originally is from Oakland, so up north, and then she moved to. We flew her out to New York Aww. to live with us, and then when we came back here, she's now back to her home of California. Her home state. Hi, Mama. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. Yeah. I, I like small animals. I'm not, I'm like, she's when it a, comes to pets, I like small creatures. I don't she really is definitely a creature. Stuff. She's a little she's a thing. Creature. Oh. Yes. Mama. Mama, do you want to play a game with us? She burps, so that means yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to play a little game. And it's a new game that I've been playing on the show, which I think everyone will get a bit of a kick out of. So the first it's called Incoherent, and I'm going to put the, the card up on the screen, okay. and you're going to read it and try to guess what it actually means. Okay. Okay? So, thirds, teeth, or stay. Thirds, teeth. What is it? Thirds, thirds teeth. Thir thirds, oh, teeth, or thirst, stay. Oh, thirsty Thursday. Yeah, I thirsty Thursday. <laughs> I really out of that. Oh, my God. Real agent sip goals. Relationship goals. Oh, that was so that fast. That quick. That was so fast. That was so fast. Okay, this one is the woke ing cabs cabs aim. aim. The woke. The, the woke cabs aim. The what? Say it really fast. The woke. Wait. The woke. The woke uh, cabs. <laughs> same. The same. woke. I can't even say. <laughs> the woke cabs. Same. <laughs> The woke have same. The woke cat. I don't. Someone help me. I need a lifeline. The life woke line. have same. The woke have same. Aim. The I woke have same. Ooh, oh! we have a special guest. Who is it? Who is it? Come yeah, you can come in. Yeah. <laughs> help me. <laughs> Ready? Say it. The woke. The. Oh, give it to Cole. Cole. Never mind. The woke. The woke calves aim. Aim. Say fast. The woke calves aim. The woke calves aim. Is anybody live? Does anyone wanna help? help? Can anyone help <laughs> me? Say it fast. The, the woke calves aim. Maybe merge the last word into sh a sound. Calves aim. The woke calves. Oh, the walk of shame. Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> Torture. Oh my God. I swear, yeah. these games are so much more fun for me than anyone. You know, I thought it was going to be way easier. Way easier? Yeah. I know. Not. Those are hard. Those are hard. They're all in different, like, types, too. It's, like, party, like, frisky, and then there's, like, everyday oh, terms. Oh, frisky's probably fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That is, I That's how like, I feel. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> that means that we are in the last segment of the show, which is the Noah Centineo news segment. <laughs> 
Everyone. What's he up to today? So guys, Noah Centineo is currently staying in Malibu healing from an ACL surgery. Okay. Who cares? <laughs> right? But like, yeah. I still care. I still care, but like, who cares? But how did he hurt it? He, I don't know. He didn't say, but he's been posting a lot from Malibu. And um, he, yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. Tap the, there oh, you got go. it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, not feeling this buzzed. Oh, you don't like his buzzed hair, Charmaine? I know. It's growing in, though. He's just like sitting on a couch in Malibu with his like hair growing in. At least he doesn't have a bleached beard anymore. No, thank God. He looked terrible. He looked like a billy goat. Yeah, he did look like a billy goat. <laughs> So yeah, he's He-Man set injury. Ooh, possibly that's my sister. Oh, that's possible. He could be hurt from his uh, training for He-Man. Anyway, I saw on his live he was like trying to shower, and they like had to wrap up his like injury or whatever. The worst. And then I saw that Alexis Ren was there helping him heal, and I was like, oh, maybe this is a real relationship, and not just for PR. <laughs> whatever. Look, big win for Billy. <laughs> That's a big win for Billy Gus. I love it. So that's the Noah Centineo news update. He's not in LA, sadly. He's currently in Malibu. Not I'm not that in far Malibu. Away. Maybe I'll just like go to Malibu. Yeah, it's not that far. I'll just like walk around. Just Noah, where are you? <laughs> Got your pain back. He obviously can't get around that easily, so you can catch up and find him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when they're like, we should be concerned about this girl in her show. <laughs> So that's the Noah Centineo news segment. That's what's going on. He's currently healing from an injury, which means we are at the end of our show. And I want to say thank you to Alex so much for thank joining you. me. Thanks for having us here. Of course. It's only 7.20, so we get to go and have the rest of our night, which I actually really love about being on the West Coast. Everything is just like... Let's go do stuff and everyone in the East Coast is asleep. Exactly. So thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, appreciate you coming oh, on here. Thanks. And I'm hosting so glad you're here. My first remote episode. This was really fun. And I hope that this show brought everybody a little bit of joy and a little bit of laughter because that's exactly what we're supposed to do. And I hope you go out there and spread it. Um, because that's what we could all use in this world. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Woo! <laughs> Hi everyone, thanks for watching. To subscribe to my channel, click here. And to watch more videos, click here. Be sure to like, comment, and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Sit down, choosing hell.